back then, it really wasn't possible to continue working on robotics because there was so little data. Like back then, if you wanted to do on robot, if you wanted to work on robotics, you needed to become a robotics company. You needed to really have a giant group of people working on building robots and maintaining them and having, and even then, like if you only, if you're going to have a hundred robots, it's a giant operations already, but you're not going to get that much data out of them. So in a world where most of the progress comes from the combination of compute and data, right? That's where we've been, where it was the combination of compute and data that drove the progress. There was no path to data from robotics. So back in the day when you made a decision to stop working in robotics, there was no path forward. Is there one now? So I'd say that now it is possible to create a path forward, but one needs to really commit to the, to the, to the task of robotics. You really need to say, I'm going to build like many thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of robots and somehow collect data from them and find a gradual path where the robots are doing something slightly more useful. And then the data that they get from these robots, and then the data that, that is obtained and used to train the models and they do something that's slightly more useful. So you could imagine this kind of gradual path of improvement where you build more robots, they do more things, you collect more data and so on. But you really need to be committed to this path. If you say, I want to make robotics happen, that's what you need to do. I believe that there are companies who are thinking about such doing exactly that. But I think that you need to really love robots and need to be re really willing to solve all the physical and logistical problems of dealing with them. It's not the same as software at all. So I think one could make progress in robotics today with enough motivation. Mm -hmm.